I'm super sick. Not super sick, but got a cold. Uh, just got back from Barcelona yesterday. Um, and it's my first time to Europe to traveling like that in any way. And uh, it, what a gift to be able to do something like that. Uh, it just, yeah, it was a great time. And I bought a couple books, a few a few books out there. Uh, <clears throat> this, let's see. I'll start with the ones that I I wanted to buy. This book in particular um, by Eugenio Diors. Eugenio Diors. Um, untranslated, still not translated into English. Um, but I read, heard about him from, <clears throat> reading the journals of Merce Iliad. Oh man, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm just, fuck it. My head is <clears throat> stuffed. Not gonna sneeze. Anyway, uh, Merce was a, God, I believe, Polish um, expat in France, um, and more of like a religious studies contemporary with Jung. Um, but in his heart, I think he was a writer, and he wrote a few novels. I haven't read them, but his journals, especially the uh, first third and fourth uh, are the best. No, first and the fourth. The, his first and last uh, set of journals are awesome. Anyway, he spoke about um, Dior's especially, specifically um, this book, Oceanographia del Tirio, which translates to Oceanography of Boredom, and translated a passage. Um, in his journals into English uh, that really struck me and it was about the nature of boredom and he sort of uh, made boredom like a concrete and physical thing. I can't actually remember what it was now. I should find it. I should have found it before this video but really stand out uh, passage that made me want to read this book, Oceanography of Boredom which is a really good title, and uh, boredom as a subject seemed really subtle and interesting to me. But he's untranslated, and this book is in Catalan, uh, not in Spanish, and um, so I did my best. You can find the book online um, at like Internet Archive or History, um, I can't remember where. If you look it up, you can find it untranslated in Catalan. Uh, I can read just barely a little bit of Spanish, um, enough to recognize and know that this, uh, this book is a very early example, not the earliest, but a very early example, and the only example of a Spanish writer I know. Uh, writing in, to me, the genre of slim European novel, um, like, I could pull it out, but like Man in the Holocene, or my favorite example, one, you know, Peter Hanke, who perfected the slim European novel, and this is, you know, The Afternoon of a Writer is a really good example of this style, or this genre, um, which is its primary characteristics are like formally progressive um, sh obviously short albeit precise uh, the, the books are short slim the sentences however are typically um, not short um, uh, preferring like precision 
over concision, um, not lyrical, uh, and I'm losing my train of thought a little bit, but <coughs> the earliest example that I can think of of the slim European novel is Hunger by Newt Hampson. My eyes are so fucked up. I'm so, <laughs> uh, um, anyway, it is my aspiration to read this and maybe make like a personal translation of it from Catalan to English. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I have like, my life is rife with like, uh, self-betterment goals, so I, I'm not like in any rush to learn uh, to read Catalan or Spanish um, fluently, but give me, you know, five, eight, ten years and I think I'll um, be able to do it. I did not realize that this book uh, Oceanography of Boredom was uh, in a series. Um, the second one, of Sueño es Vida, uh, Sleep is Life, um, in what's called the Botanic Gardens or Botanical Gardens series. Um, didn't realize, and maybe this is just this specific edition, um, group them in a series, I'm not sure. Anyway. I saw the first one and I get the second. Um, that's what I went to this specific bookstore for in Barcelona, was this book. Uh, and then I saw this there. The owner of the store, you know, handed this to me as well. Um, and then they also had a really cool early um, 20th century paperback of some in the series of a Thousand and One Nights, um, which is by Scheherazade, I'm pretty sure. If not, I'm sorry for being wrong. Anyway, I thought they were just, it just looked beautiful. It was a beautiful copy of a book. And it has this really interesting um, flaw, perhaps. I've never seen it before, but the pages are um, uncut. And so I imagine they folded these. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages of print back and front that are uncut. So I imagine it was like these large pages that they printed um, on either side of, folded together, bounded to the book. And then either something happened and they didn't cut them, or you're supposed to cut them on your own, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, it was just a beautiful book, and I haven't seen like early uh, 20th centuries um, paperback books. Maybe this is like, I don't think there's any date on it. But it's possibly, it's possibly, you know, printed in the 50s, could be a little bit earlier. So I guess it's not totally, you know, early, early 20th century, but I haven't seen a paperback this old um, and never anything with these like uncut uh, folded pages. And then um, we were talking a little bit about Miro and um, at this bookstore with with the owner of the bookstore uh, and one of he had a little bit of a small art gallery with artists from Barcelona and across the um, across Europe one of the artists I don't remember his name um, was from not from Europe he was from Chile um, and he had some work from him that had the, you know, Mike Miro squiggles. Um, and then he brought, this is Ophi, by the way. She's very excited that I'm back. Anyway, he brought this book out um, from Federico Garcia Lorca. 
book of poems that he said was very important to um, Spanish history, Catalonia, Catalonia. Um, and I think it'd be fun and easy to, not easy, but a good way to get into learning to read Spanish is to have a small book of poems. And it's also a beautiful, uh, like, facsimile copy of the first edition. This is printed in like 1998 or something, but um, to represent the first edition. Uh, Leonard Cohen made an album based off of this um, book, and uh, this dude was assassinated um, at the very beginning of the Spanish Civil War by the nationalist, uh, obviously by the nationalist side. Anyway, um, don't know, should I know anything about him? I don't know, but uh, I don't, and I'm excited to read these books a little bit. Also, I have one minute left, says my camera, but I brought this book out. It's Engl in English, Kafka, The Trial. I'll talk more about it later on, but excellent. And that's it. I'm gonna rest. I've got a throat lozenge in that I'm now chewing on. Anyway, this is Ophi. Those are the books I got in Barcelona. See you next time.